it is called the biggest gift of all. One day, Jesus and his special friends were in the temple. Actually, they were in the temple courtyard, so this is just outside of the temple. Okay. Now, the temple was the special place where people came to worship God. This was a really, really important place for people. On this day, Jesus was sat outside and he was watching the people coming in to the temple. People were coming by, coming through the doors, and they were giving their money that they had into a special box, which is where a collection happened. And the people would come in and they would give their money because the money was used to help to pay all of the expenses in the temple so that the temple could keep running. And it was a little bit like paying um, God for all of the space that they used to worship him. And this particular day, there were people coming in and they were being very noisy with their money. And they were counting it and they were checking it and making sure they had enough to take home with them. And they were putting just a little bit of money into the pot and then taking off the rest of their money for them to keep. And this kept on happening and Jesus was trying to explain to his special friends about watching how these people were sharing their money. Sometimes they would count it and think about it and maybe put a little bit more in the pot and then they would take home the rest of it to make sure that they had enough money for themselves. And then something a little bit different happened. There was a lady, she was a poor lady. She was actually a widow, which meant that she didn't have a husband anymore. So she didn't have somebody else in her house who would look after her and help her. And she came into the temple. She's a lady that loved God very, very much. And she came into the temple with her only coin. She only had one coin. She didn't have lots of coins like the other people who were dressed in their fine clothes, carrying so much money that they kept dropping it on the floor and making a lot of noise about how much money they were sharing with God. She didn't do any of that. The lady came in ever so quietly and she just popped her only coin into the pot. And then she went on her way. She didn't stop to see if anybody was watching, anyone was looking. She didn't have lots of coins to make a big rattly noise with. She just dropped one coin in, which was all she had, and off she went. This lady loved God very much. She trusted God that he would always look after her no matter what. She knew how much God loved her. She didn't have very much money, but she was happy to give the one coin that she had to God because she was going to trust God to look after her no matter what. Now Jesus said, this lady had given God the biggest gift of all. And the special friends were a bit confused and said to Jesus, but she didn't give all the money like the other people did. She didn't give lots of money. She just gave one coin. But Jesus went on to explain that this lady's heart loved and trusted God so much that she was willing to give God the one coin that she had. And that is why her gift was the biggest gift to God of all. God asks us to love him and to trust him so that all of the things that we have on earth are not as important 
as how much love we have for him and how much love we show to each other. So in today's story, we just need to think about what it means to be sharing the things that we have. Do we try to keep everything for ourselves? Are we selfish with the things that we have? Or have we got a heart just like this lady who is willing to give God the one coin that she owned? <laughs>